Welcome everybody into this new video of TechPress. Today we're going to be showing you how to get started with the future of collaborative project management by delving into how to use Microsoft Loop in the 2024. This step-by-step -step guide will empower you to streamline your product workforce, ensuring seamless collaboration and productivity. So let's dive into this world of effortless teamwork. Now, what exactly is the Microsoft Lift? Well, if you have used uh, other productivity and note-taking applications, like for example, Notion, Microsoft Loop should do something, let's say much more easier, faster, and similar for all of those applications. Now, for example, I have used several years ago, uh, Notion, and Notion is a really, really great application to cover helping you to do almost anything uh, by making the product management, creating team spaces, and of course, collaborative stuff, uh, totally for free, of course. There are paid versions and all of that, but here I want to focus on the free versions. Now, if you have used Notion, you might be seeing that Microsoft Loop is a little bit similar than this actual application. So today, if you have focused into this application of Notion, this tutorial is going to be much more faster to you. And for those who don't, but you don't have to worry about it because the process is going to be really, really simple. So first of all, let's access the Microsoft Loop and create an actual project. Now, begin by logging into the Microsoft Loop. You can always click into loop.microsoft.com. It's going to be asking you just to sign with your actual Microsoft account and going to be signed in automatically. Now, here what I want to do is to create a new project or select an existing uh, workspace. Now, as you can see here, this is the very first time we have entered in here with another account. So that means that I can go and create my new workspace into the upper side or do it directly here which says new workspace. Two of them have already been enabled. Now it's going to be asking you what is the name of your workspace. So let's say for example that this is a uh, daily work or daily routine, right? Now here you can share your space. If you wanted to use this workspace for work to work for another people here, what you wanted to do is to share your space here and invite members with a name or an email. You can choose an icon so you can find this uh, workspace much more faster. So here into my daily routine, let's say for example, I choose the music tab and I choose, I don't know, maybe this musical score, create a new script and I can even upload an actual cover. You can select all the stuff, stock images that are of course for free. You can type here and you can search your own. You have different landscapes, there's uh, workflows, there's gradients. Now, as you can see, we are inside the actual loop. As you see, it actually looks really, really simple. So let's define some project goals and objectives. For example, first of all, what I wanted to do is to clearly outline what needs to be achieved and establish milestones to measure progress. So this is how I'm going to be using today Microsoft Lift. For example, here, I have different routines, I have different ideas, and I can create a new component. So for example, here, if I clicked into new component, here I have my idea number one. So idea number one should be, let's say, for example, Monday, or let's say, for example, my week uh, routine. So here, what I can do is to start from this from scratch as actually we're doing here. If I go and select this fast forward slash, it's going to be helping us to add, for example, checklist, bullet listed, numbered listed, dated, callouts, code, table of contents, uh, and so much more. For example, here, the headline, I have Monday. And here, let's go once again, fast forward slash. Now, if you don't want to start from scratch, let's say that I go for a new idea. Instead of going for the blank page, I'm going to go and look out for project planning. Now, here, this project plan is going to be showing me a template and something that actually is going to be really, really simple to just add it. And what I just need to do is to edit the content. So use the template to define scope and find my for your next project. So status, let's say that I'm going to go for in progress. I select this element and I delete it and I do this as well. Now the project planning does say, for example, that this is going to be for um, home updates. And this is like a logo. I can change my covers. I can change more and more stuff. Here are my roles. So for example, I have uh, the role of my dad. I have the role of my mother. And here I have the role of my brother or assign it to. So here's my assignments. Here are my goals. I can edit the milestones, I can edit the team template check and some relevant links just in case one is available. And now lastly, as you see, everything is going to be edited inside just one workspace. I can create something new and do all of this, uh, all this onboarding stuff with different elements without having to do, let's say, stuff inside just one place. 
I'm gonna be having a workspace for my family, a workspace for my music, a workspace for my painting stuff. Uh, for so you can maximize your uh, project management with the Microsoft Lift. You can integrate with others, elements, all the applications, delivering the artificial and challenges driven insights. So. Uh, you have it guys, I love this project management with the Microsoft Loop, which I think is going to be really, really easy uh, to getting started with. You have now Copilot in Loop that can be helping you to create, to get up to speed and start the synchronization of the teammates in doing so much more, which I think is going to be really, really easy to get started with. You have now seen the free boson, uh, but there's a lot of elements that you can get started with. For yourself, guys, we have, for example, of course, the paid monthly that can give you access for the Microsoft 365. So with that being said, guys, what we can do is to get started now by using the actual great element of this, this new R Microsoft loot. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools here and through this actual Microsoft loot. Thank you so much for watching the video. So you wanted to get started with, don't forget to get started directly inside loop.microsoft.com. Hopefully we can all see you next time.